Mathematics Paper 2, Question 12. A. In the diagram, O is the center of the circle ABC and angle BCA equals 41 degrees. Find I, angle BOA, II. Angle B A O I from the diagram the length of line O A and line O C are equal since they are two radii of the same circle, which makes triangle A C O an isosceles, meaning two of its interior angles are equal. So we can state that angle CAO equals angle ACO. So angle CAO equals 41 degrees since angle ACO is 41 degrees from the question. Angle BOA, which is the exterior angle, equals the sum of the interior opposite angles which is angle CAO and angle ACO so you have angle BOA equals angle CAO plus angle ACO we know angle CAO has 41 degrees and angle ACO also has 41 degrees so angle BOA equals 41 degrees plus 41 degrees which will give us 82 degrees so angle BOA equals 82 degrees. I add from the diagram angle BOA and angle AOC are formed on line BC such that angle BOE and angle AOC are supplementary so they sum up to 180 degrees so we have angle BOE plus angle AOC equals 180 degrees we already know angle BOE because we have calculated for that already of which the result was 82 degrees plus angle AOC equals 180 degrees so angle AOC equals 98 degrees angle AOC from triangle AOB is an exterior angle which is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles which are angle a B O and angle B A O. So we have angle A O C equals angle A B O plus angle B A O. But angle B A O is equal to angle A B O because line O A line OB are two radii of the same circle meaning triangle ABO is an isosceles triangle making two of its interior angles the same so we have angle AOC equals two multiplying angle BAO angle AOC has already been calculated for as 98 degrees which is equal to 2 multiplying angle BAO 
So by making angle BAO the subject, you divide both sides of the equal sign by 2, giving us angle BAO equals 49 degrees. B. The angle of depression of a point P on the ground from top T of a building is 23.6 degrees. If the horizontal distance from P to the base of the building is 50 meters, calculate correct to three significant figures the height of the building. We will illustrate the information in a diagram like this. The diagram is a right angled triangle with line TF as its opposite side, which is marked as H which is also the height of the building and line pf as the adjacent side which is also marked as 50 meters which is the length on the ground and line pt as the hypotenuse side calculating for the height of the building which is the opposite side we will state our formula as tan theta equals the length of the opposite side over the length of the adjacent side. So tan theta is equal to 23.6 degrees. So tan 23.6 degrees is equal to the length of the opposite side, which is h, over the length of the adjacent side, which is 50 meters. Making h the subject. We will multiply through by the LCM, which is 50, which will give us H is equal to 50 tan 23.6 degrees. So H is equal to 21.8469. But the question asks us to leave our answer in three significant figures. So H is equal to 21.8 meters in three significant figures. C. A cow is tied to a post at the center of a square grazing field of side 25 meters by a rope 10 meters long. Find, correct to two decimal places, the percentage of the field the cow was able to graze on. Take pi equals 22 over 7. We will first of all find the area of the square field, which is equal to a length squared. And the length was 25 meters. We have 25 meters squared, which will give us 625 meters squared. Then we will find the, the area of a circle the root makes, which is equal to pi r squared. When pi is 22 over 7, multiplying the length of the root, which represents the radius, as 10 squared, which will give us 
314.29 meter squared. The percentage grazed by the cow is equal to the area of the circle the root makes divided by the area of the square field multiplying 100. So we have the percentage grazed equals 314.29 divided by 625 multiplying 100 which will give us 50.29% in two decimal places.